What's happening? Ooh. Welcome back to the channel. I am Nick here with Ryan. That's right. Uh, okay, it is time for some Lita Ford. Mm. I like that name, Ryan. Oh, I like it a lot. Really, Lita. I've always liked the name Lita. I don't know if it's just because you know childhood and you know Lita from WWE. Oh yes. I don't know if that's the. I reason. I remember that Lita. <laughs> but uh, it just it just rolls off the tongue so nice, mm. Lita. Can you? <laughs> Can you do it with a huh, you know? Lita. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm no. not even going to try because I know it, I can't do it. It takes a good amount of uh, <laughs> saliva. <laughs> Flustering the tongue. <laughs> hey, you've never heard of her before? Uh, no. Mm, okay. Lita Rosanna Ford, or is it Rosanna? Rosanna. Who all knows? Right. Spy Rosanna. <laughs> Take you all the way. Oh, yeah. Da -da -da. <laughs> Uh, Lita Rosanna Ford is an English board guitarist, vocalist, and songwriter. She was the lead guitarist for the all-female rock band The Runaways in the late 1970s uh, and then embarked on a successful glam metal solo career that hit its peak in the late 1980s. So she was born in London, but her family moved to California when she was in second grade. She was inspired by Richie Blackmore's work with Deep Purple. She began playing the guitar at age 11. Uh, Ford made music history with the Runaways, who were the first all-female rock band. Uh, and they were a success, but it was short-lived. Uh, in 1982, she started a solo career. Started out with minor success, and then she hit big on this third album, going with a more radio-friendly sound. Uh, and then by the mid-90s, uh, she had turned her attention towards raising her two young sons, causing her music career to become less of, less of a priority uh, so she went on a long hiatus. Oh, wow. Got to be a mom. Got to be a mom. Mm -hmm. uh, so she came back in 2008 with a new band, and uh, she's made a few albums since then, and uh, she's still touring. Wow. So uh, I have heard of Lita Ford before. Um, I think just watching, like, VH1, you know, you remember all their music shows they had. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I remember seeing her on there. Um but I never, like, really listened to any of her songs. <laughs> huh. You know, I probably heard whatever they were playing on VH1 at the time, but that was a while back. I don't remember. <laughs> so, uh, you know, when this name resurfaced uh, in the comments section, I was like, okay, yeah, I, I recognize that name. Uh -huh. uh, so you don't know none of her music? No. That you can remember, at least. No, I don't. Mm. Uh, so we're going to go with the song Kiss Me Deadly. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, um, this is just one that I've seen requested from time to time, and it is one of her biggest hits. Uh, this song was written by songwriter Mick Smiley, ooh. Uh, who wrote the song Magic for the soundtrack to the 1984 film Ghostbusters. Hmm. Uh, this was just one of two songs on, the, on this album that she didn't co-write. Lita was thrilled to have a hit with this song, but it was tempered by the loss of her father, who died of brain cancer before it was released. Oh, wow. Uh, she said, it took me 12 years in the music industry before I had a hit record. Kiss Me Deadly was my first hit record, and my father wasn't there to see it. Uh, a really good thing happened. At the same time, a really bad thing happened. That's pretty sad. Yeah. Uh, the song received renewed interest 30 years after its release when it was featured in the 2019 superhero film Captain Marvel. Ooh, okay. So maybe I have heard this. So, yeah, because you've seen all those. Yeah, right? I've seen all Marvels. I'm big on all that stuff. And I've seen like four of them, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? You gotta. You need to catch up. Yeah. Let me see. I mean, let me guess. You've probably seen like the ones that probably everybody has seen, like Iron Man. Yeah. Was, and then uh, what was Spider Man? Obviously. You've seen, well, the, you've seen the Spider Man's, right? The old with Tobey Maguire. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You see one, two, and three? And then I saw, yeah. So you uh, haven't seen like the amazing Spider-Man. I saw the uh, one with Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Yeah, but the the He's, all right. He's all right. Who's the Who's the other guy? Tom Holland. Yeah, I haven't seen those. Really? Yeah, I haven't seen those. Mm. People think he's the best Spider-Man. Yeah. Like actor. He fits the character well. People think. <laughs> <laughs> People think a lot of stuff. <laughs> who's the best Spider-Man? You know, the, the debate will always mm -hmm. go on. Yeah, so this is from the third album, Lita. <laughs> Released in 1988, and it did go platinum. So let's see what we got here. This is Lita Ford, Kiss Me Deadly. I went to a party last Saturday night. 
Might be playing with yeah, yeah, this is good. I like this. I do like this. <laughs> this is really good. Oh man. Oh man. It's like I, I think it's her cadence that I'm like really liking. It's like the um the atmosphere of her voice. It's like I don't know. And I like the uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good, man. I like it. I like the you know the rhythm of it too. Ooh, man. I can get down to this. I can get jiggy down to this too. So I didn't expect there to be such a runaways influence here. <laughs> you can hear the punk, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. but yeah, it just it just has that punk uh, pop yeah. flavor mm. to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like this is the type of song that a lot of bands in the late '90s, the early 2000s, kind of started to, uh, you know, give it new life again. Yeah, pop punk. I mean, that's kind of <laughs> what I think of. Except PP. In, yeah, except this also has the glam. Yeah. As what well, the hair and everything. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very attractive, by the way. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. For sure. Just had to put that out there. <laughs> yeah, no, I I, I saw that. <laughs> I, I was looking at the screen. Oh, Trust okay, me. okay. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, she's just being herself having a good old time. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, um, in the T Rex video, people were saying, Yeah, there's a difference between glam rock and glam metal. Yeah, I kind of knew that. Um Matter of fact, you know, I just misspoke. I didn't mean to say glam metal before the song in that video, but I just had to get that off my chest. <laughs> so, I I know my glams here, okay? My glams are in a row. This melody kind of reminds me of like a car song, to be honest. You know, it's just it's just kind of fun. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Kiss me once, you know. I just see a whole, I'll see like a, like a car, four girls in it. Singing their hearts out the song, going down the highway. They all got sunglasses on. Yeah, and their sun and the sun is like beaming. You their know? sun and the sun. Yeah, their sun is sunning, and it's beaming. <laughs> Damn son, where'd you find that? Yeah, at? exactly. Oh yeah, this is ladies' night out. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm night saying? Out, yeah. Come on, girls. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, and then like you know, you know the older folk, they're like, "Oh, I remember this song. Let's get it, ladies." And they come out, <laughs> they start getting jiggy. You know? Yeah. Man, that's the that's the that's the good dance parties right there. Everybody's just you know got the shoulders going. You know? Yeah. This is like uh, college spring break. Oh. And uh, one of your friends might have. You know, showed something on the highway, <laughs> possibly. So, uh, but yeah, when, when it first came in, I was like, "Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this." <laughs> it didn't exactly come in the way I thought it would. I guess it just kind of caught me off guard. Mm-hmm. But then when the drums kicked in, yeah, and I'm like, "Yeah, man, <laughs> this is fun." It's it's definitely got, the, I mean, it's got the party thing going on, yeah, for sure. So when it when it's fun, it's fun. You just gotta roll along with it. Yeah. It ain't no big thing. 
Okay. <laughs> Okay, she's going in now. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> the abrupt ending. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> Oh, oh, how are you going to end it like that? I was running too hot for yeah. that, man. Oh, man. How'd y'all do that to me for? <laughs> oh, that wasn't very nice. Yeah. <laughs> God, run that back. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> hey, that was that was really good, man. Hey, I enjoyed that so much. That is easily one of the most fun songs <laughs> on the channel. I swear. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you weren't here for that time. Yeah, I know. That, that was, was a blast. He would have liked that, boy. <laughs> Oh, man. man. Hey, and it just goes to show you, it, there are people, I, th I think I've said this before, which I always say that before. When I say I think I've said this before, yeah, yeah. I've probably said it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there are people who think, like, we don't really like the, the like, arena rock 80s, you know, stuff, you know, mm -hmm. uh, along with glam. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People just think that we don't really like those bands. Um, I don't know why, because I think just I, me. I feel like I've liked almost all the 80s that we've done. Yeah, I'm probably speaking more for myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I've just, I've just pe seen people say that. Yeah. And, you know, it probably is too. They were like, look, you guys are just more 70s guys than 80s. As far as like mainstream yeah. music, I guess, back then. You're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. But that doesn't mean like we don't like stuff like this. Right. And the thing is with this... Is, yeah, it's got the glam with it and, uh, you know, a, a lot of the 80s tropes. But it doesn't it doesn't feel artificial to me or fake or, like, you know, nothing's really overpowering mm -hmm. in the song. It just all complements each other well. Like, even that solo was kind of, like, atypical of what you heard back then. But, like, it shreds, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was eating it, that, man. It shreds. I mean, that was, mm -hmm. that was fire. Um, Especially for like a song like this, you know, it's more, you know, I don't think the, usually they don't do like, you know, when it's more of these upbeat pop songs, you know, yeah. I don't think you really get solos out of those. At least the ones we've done, let's kind of like sound like this. Was there even a pre? Okay. Yeah. There was a pre course. Yeah. Yeah. The pre course and course were both amazing. I th yeah. And I think, cause you know, we've all, <laughs> we've also had the, you know, the complaint of like, keep saying the chorus over and over and over at the end. But when it's yeah. this fire, I don't care what it sounds. I don't care how many times you do yeah. it. If it's that good, I can hear it a thousand times. And I've already been the one that's, you know, I, I can listen to something over and over as long as it's really good. And yeah. she's very entertaining. It, you know, maybe the video might help a little bit, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I think, I think you know, she's really entertaining. You can hear, like, you know, like you say a lot of the passion. So it's like, yes. you, know, you say it's really real when she's singing. So I think that's another thing. It's like, it's just really, like, energetic. And it just, once you get you moving, I, I couldn't sit here still and yeah, watch that video. There's I, no way. No. If you do that, you're a psycho. <laughs> it's just everything about this was just great. You yeah. know, the, the really, the really, the only thing that was kind of weird is the intro caught me off guard, <laughs> uh, but like quickly soon, just like, it, you know, in a second, mm -hmm. like I was just like, oh, I'm gonna like this. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's just it's just a very like happy, fun melody. Like I'm I'm easily gonna remember. Like there's so many hooks in here, not just from her vocals, which are great. You know, she kind of has that rasp to her, mm -hmm. that punk, yeah, yeah, rasp that you know. You can tell she was with Joan Jett. You know, it's a very <laughs> similar type of vocal, I feel like. And, uh, yeah, I just I, you could just hear that she was just having a ball. Yeah. It's definitely a playlist. 
Oh yeah, no, no doubt. Extra about playlist. It. Yeah. <laughs> Hit the over. Man, oh man, that'd be that's going. That's one of my party playlist. Yeah, that's my party playlist. And how about the fills uh, in the chorus as well by the guitar? Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, I love and that. the keys did it. Yeah. So it was like it was just like a triple theme in the chorus. Yeah, and it was just like, oh, this is just such ear candy right now. <laughs> that tastes good. I like right that, there, boy. Ear candy. I hope a lot of people found this song through uh, Captain Marvel. Yeah, as well. You know, it's uh, it's popular, but. I don't know, man. I think that should be a little more up there, <laughs> in my opinion, because <laughs> you don't you don't really have too many like fun songs to where it's like, oh, I've heard this so many times, I don't want to play it. Man, I think this one I got put in. I can put on pretty much any time. And yeah, this is a perfect karaoke song too. Oh yes, at the bars, absolutely. Well, everybody, <laughs> everybody is gonna. Say. And it's really it's really yeah. easy lyrics too. They're not nothing complicated. You know, it's really like. You know, it's really easy to sing along, you know, and I think that's a, that's, I think that's what makes a good karaoke song. It's when you can sing it really, it's like, uh, it's for uh, easy for everybody to sing. So I, I think like, I can hear easily this at any kind of like, you know, those little, you know, it's, it's like one of those bars with the pool tables and stuff, you know? Yeah. You know, it's that, that kind of vibe, you know, and here comes the girl, you know, she's just, you know, a little, little lady, you know, just <laughs> kiss me, why? I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and everybody just gets into it. I, I promise you, if, if you've ever, ever been to a karaoke bar or a karaoke night, please go. It's very fun. <laughs> yeah. you, you might end up on the stage one, at one time. You know, I've done it. Oh, it's going to happen. I never thought I'd do it, but I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do? Oh, it was all right. I did Michael Jackson. Okay. Can't go wrong with Michael Jackson. Well, do what you know. Exactly. Because <laughs> if you don't know, then <sighs> I go to. <laughs> I, I have witnessed some bad singing, and I, I tell you what, boy, it is not fun. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this definitely has some of the '80s tropes in it, mm-hmm. but it's it's doing them in a fashion to where it doesn't feel cheesy, yep. or it's like, oh, I've heard that a million times, and I think it's really because of that punk injection that this has. Yep. You know, it's just a very cool combination. A lot of walks of life can like this song. So yeah, that was fantastic. What an introduction for Lita Ford on the channel. A plus from both of us. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, and as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace Peace out. out.